I'm out in the truck today. I'm trying to trace down an, an annoying squeak. Can you hear it there? There's a noise from the front suspension, like I think the bushes are a bit dry. But can you hear that chirruping? Okay, that was just coasting in uh, neutral, so. So let's um, have a look around. That sounds like it, doesn't it? Yeah, hear that? See that there, look? The gap. Something to do with that. No, not on that one there, look. Or that one. Or that one. That's got a nut. That's got a stud, but no nut. That one's broke. That one's broke. And there's a strut here that's not attached. Oops. That's got a little bit of a stud. I might be able to get a nut on that one. And that's got a nut. What I missed was... There's one... There that I can't see, but I can see it on the camera. Now that appears to have a stud and no nut. And then it's got some extra ones right down the back there. Okay, looks like I've got a bit of a job on. Well, I'm not doing very well so far. I've undone those two, sorry, there, one broke, one came off, but anyway, and then I tried to undo this one here, that one there, and that that just snapped. So basically, there's only that one there and the ones that bolt it to the running board holding it on there. I'll just give this one a try and it did. It did did want to move, so for a little bit of, you know, like an ITF, um, what do you call it, mixture on it. It's going a bit tight now, so the last of the threads are a bit, it's okay though. The, the, the other one just didn't loosen off at all and it just snapped. At least I got this one okay. Get those four out of there. A bit strange because there's two five sixteenths, but with nine sixteenths nuts and two quarter inch. Obviously, these have been put in by a previous owner. So I'll just double check, but I think that's all the bolts now. The, the fender. Well, I've got to take that brace off there, haven't I? That brace has got to come off.
that one's okay, I think. Assuming the thread will clean up. That one's okay. I've just took the nut off that one, so I'll run a die down that. I'll run a die down that. That one's not there. That one's not there. That one's possibly okay if I can run a die down it. Annoyingly, I've just broken that one. And that one is okay. And I'll run a die down it. So on this one, that one, and that one, what I think I'm going to do is try and grind them flush. That's where I took the fender off, trying to grind them flush and then drill through and drill and tap and put a thread into them and then what I'll do is on the other side what I'll do on this side, I'll countersunk here put the thread through and then weld it around and grind it off flush you never know. I might change my mind yet. I wonder how long since they were last off. Got a die. In a die holder. I've actually shortened the handles on this one. Just <clears throat> put a little bit of that on there. Good taps and dies are a you know, one of the best investments you can make, to be honest. Good as new. Well, I've got one, two, three, four good ones now. They weren't very generous with the paint, were they? Right, let's see about these broken ones then. Right, let's go and find the tapping drill then for a 5.16 UNC. 6.5mm. Find a tap. What I might do is um, instead of welding them, I might sort of poke them through and just peen them on the other side. It's always best to use a proper tap wrench with a tap rather than a spanner because you put equal pressure on both sides so it 
tends to go in more straight. A bit le less uh, danger of um, breaking the tap. There we go. I thought I was filming then, but what I've just done is put a stud through and peened it over with the hammer and that big weight on the other end of the stud to hold it nice and tight in the hole and that's quite sturdy actually there it is there so it's you know a good match for the others the good news is I found a load of nuts so that's good because they're, they're you know a little bit hard to come by in this country now it's all metric in it these days I've made these little studs I'm going to wind them through here. Okay, yep. Just get the heads just protruding a little bit like that. There, like that, I think. Just put a nut on this end just to protect the threads. heavy weight. Just putting that on the end of the nut on my side. And that's nice and firm now. And if the worst come to the worst it would just unwind out wouldn't it? They'll kind of blend in after a bit. So, we've got one with a cleaned up thread, another one with a cleaned up thread with a new nut, new nut, That's one new stud with a new nut, another new stud, which you know is good and tight, with a new nut. One cleaned up thread with a new nut and another new stud with a new nut. There you go. So that I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a good repair. So I'm going to leave it at that for tonight because it's getting a bit late. And tomorrow, this fender ain't too bad. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. This fender's actually pretty good. I'll, I'll kind of dolly these out a bit, dolly them straight. But I'm not going to go too mad. I just wanted to investigate the squeaking and investigating the squeaking I found out that it wasn't really attached very well so, you know feel quite happy with what I've done. Okay, do a bit more tomorrow. The idea is I'm going to use this piece cut from an inner tube to make a sort of well tent for the fender. The inner tube's got like a, a moulding line here that I'm just following with the scissors. I cut it up the middle then I've got two, haven't I? I've already done this but I've been around with this little dolly and I've straightened this bit here. Just straightened it 
frightened all the bolt holes all the way around. Just done all those. There's a lot of flex here. Apparently this price isn't standard, but I might as well leave it on, as I'm at, this is just a repair. So the idea is that this will just go around here. So what I need to do is mark it, and then punch holes in it. The fact that it's cut from an image gives it a natural sort of curve. That fits alright I think. Something's better than nothing. Same old story isn't it? So much better than that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some um, what we call wax oil here in the UK and just put some that side, I'll put some on here just to protect it a little bit. This old tin of wax oil. Couldn't get any more out of it, but I've just opened it up like that and there's quite a lot in the bottom. So I'm going to use that. This old brush. thing hovering there, looks like a wasp but smaller. Forgot about that bit there. after anyway I think. It would have been a good idea to put the rubber on, wouldn't it? Okay. Start again. That's no good either. 
Okay, yeah, that looks good. That's a nut. Shape proof washer and a penny washer. Could have done with them being just slightly bigger diameter, but that's all I could get at short notice. Amazing how much of this you can just do by feel. Now I need something a bit more fancy than just one of those washers on that one at the back. Because it's quite badly torn. Right. I've put all the bolts on there and there and then all the way around, including that one down at the back. But I haven't tightened them up because what I want to do is to get those, those bolts in place along there, those ones along there, and these two that go in here. Once I've got everything in place, I'll um, start tightening them all up. But basically, all these ones that are just nuts and bolts, due to availability, I'm just gonna use metric and these ones here. I can always swap them out at a later date if I get some UNC. But uh, for me here today, to get this job done, I'm just going to use what's available locally. But because those threads on this bedside are UNC, I've replaced them with UNC. But that stuff's not so easy to find these days here. Right, back in a bit. There's the fender bolted back on. I fitted all the bolts down here. The camera ran out of memory, but you know, blimey, you've seen people fit bolts before. It's all bolted up all around there, and got a couple of bolts down there as well. The thing I'm not happy about is where that washer there is, the flange is split there, so that needs a more permanent repair at a later date. But the fender is on, it's got a brace there, which isn't factory. And um, it's now, if I grab it, you can't, you can't get it to make a noise. So I know 
that that will have fixed the squeak. The other side, even though it's not fixed on 100% right, it's not as bad as the other side. This one probably doesn't generate so much of a squeak. Okay, so I'm going to call that good. Doing this side will just be a repeat of the other side. I don't know how many broken studs are here. I can't remember what I said now. But uh, they'll get done. I've just been and bought some washers and more bolts so I can finish the first side off a bit more better than I did. So that's that. Job done. Hello. I'm back in the truck. This is after fixing the left hand rear fender. I'm on the same bit of road as I was on yesterday. I've got that creaking and groaning from the front as like I had yesterday. But that chirruping, that squeaky chirruping has gone. No jokes about my Birmingham accent, please. Anyway, just out of interest, my left here, just coming into your shop now, here, this building here, is where they make the um, four hammers. Which are sold all around the world. A lot of people are familiar with those, you know, the soft faced hammers. Literally just round the corner from where I live. So with regards to the fender job then, that squeak, that really, really annoying squeak has gone. And like I said in the video before, I, um, like I said before, in investigating the squeak, I found that the fender wasn't attached properly. So, you know, it's as I bought it, as I bought the truck, so, it was worthwhile checking all that and it's been a very worthwhile exercise. So what I can do now is, I'll do the other one anyway, exactly the same. I don't think there's so many broken studs on that side. And I can uh, then try and isolate other various noises like that groaning as I'm coming to a halt there. I like doing, you know, what they call a running restoration where you're able to go out and drive the car. Okay, anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking like. And if you subscribe, click the little bell as well so you know when a new video has come up. Okay, cheers then. Bye. The truck has an annoying squeak over and, over and above all the other noises. So I'm going to see if I can work out what's caused. Thanks Meg. I'm going to see if I can work out what's caused it.